Okay, what do you understand about the benefit of saving? Apakah awak faham tentang kepentingan menyimpan ni? Okay, interest for saving are reward paid by financial institutions such as banks to depositors. The interest can be divided into two types. Okay, so now today we will know that when we invest or when we make a saving, we will get in uh, interest. And then the interest is divided into two, which is the first one, simple interest and compound interest. I want to show to you what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest. Okay, now we see. What is uh, simple interest? Okay, you see the definition there? A reward given to depositor at a certain rate on the deposit amount, or we call as principal, for a certain period of time. Okay. So, maksud dia kat sini adalah Satu ganjaran yang diberi kepada depositor What is depositor? Pendeposit Pendeposit tu orang yang melabur lah Atau orang memasukkan duit Menyimpan duit At a certain rate Pada kadar tertentu On the deposit amount Or we call as principal Maksud principal ni adalah Berapa kita letakkan Contoh kalau tak adalah bank 500 500 tu kita sebut sebagai Principal Okay for a certain period of time Okay, now we, we we will use time in years Kita akan gunakan tahun ni dalam bentuk Sorry, kita akan gunakan masa dalam bentuk Tahun So, when you want to Find the simple interest This is the formula, okay I equal to PRT I mean interest P principal R interest rate T is the time in years Okay, how to use this formula? Okay, now we see the example. Okay, you see this example. Encik, Encik Fuad save an amount of 7,000 ringgit in a bank with an interest 5% per annum. What is per annum? Per annum, what is per annum? You know? Per annum means per year. Okay, per year. Untuk satu masa, satu, untuk satu tahun. How much interest will Encik Fuad receive if he save for 4 years Nak tanya? Ok now So from this question you need to take out the information given Ok the first one you see Encik Fuad save an amount of 7,000 So now 7,000 We call as Principal Ok And then the interest is 5 5% how long did he save the money? Four. Four years. Okay, now you list down the information. So, let's say right now I put here. P equal to 7,000. And then, your up. 5. 5%. Okay, this is in percentage. So, you need to change into decimal point. So, how to change? 5 divided by 100. 5 divided by 100, 0 0.05 Okay, change into decimal, okay And then, T What is your T? 4 So, what should you, what you want to find right now? You want to find? Interest, which is I So, you just use the formula straight away So, now you got the value already So, I equal to your P 7,000 Multiply by 0 0.05 Multiply by 4 Okay, now what is the value? RM 1,000 1,000 Hmm? Okay, 1,400 So, this is the interest Can you understand? Yeah. Ha, maksudnya macam ni lah Awak simpan duit 7,000 ringgit Dalam masa satu tahun Awak akan dapat faedah itu 5% setiap tahun So, berapa total uh, faedah yang awak, awak akan dapat dalam masa 4 tahun? Berapa, berapa total yang hmm. awak akan dapat dalam masa 4 tahun? Iaitu 1,400 1400 tu bukannya duit yang tinggal ilasnya 
faedahnya saja, interestnya saja awak akan dapat. Okey?